Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer. Thank you for joining me on Thursday the 7th of May. The readings and the psalm set for today is Psalm 118, 118, and the readings are Exodus 34, verses 1 to 10 and 27 to the end. And the New Testament is from Luke chapter 4, verses 1 to 13. And again, I'm using the Common Worship Daily Prayer uh, book. And if you've got one of those, we're on page 263. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you've delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And the psalm set is psalm number 118. 118. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let Israel now proclaim, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now proclaim, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord proclaim, His mercy endures forever. In my constant, in my constraint, I called to the Lord. The Lord answered and set me free. The Lord is at my side, I will not fear. What can flesh do to me? With the Lord at my side as my saviour, I shall see the downfall of my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put any confidence in flesh. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put any confidence in princes. All the nations encompass me but by the name of the Lord I drove them back. They hemmed me in, they hemmed me in on every side, but by the name of the Lord I drove them back. They swarmed about me like bees, they blazed like fire among thorns, but by the name of the Lord I drove them back. Surely I was thirst, surely I was thrust to the brink, but the Lord came to my help. The Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. 
joyful shouts of salvation sound from the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does mighty deeds. The right hand of the Lord raises up. The right hand of the Lord does mighty deeds. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has punished me sorely, but he has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvellous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Come, O Lord, and say, save us, we pray. Lord, come, send us now prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God. He has given us light. Link the pilgrims with cords right to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will thank you. You are God, and I will exalt you. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And the... Old Testament reading is Exodus 34 verses 1 to 10 and then jumping to 20, verse 27. The Lord said to Moses, cut two tablets of stone like the former ones and I will write on the tablets the words that were on the former tablets which you broke. Be ready in the morning and come up in the morning to, the, to Mount Sinai and present yourself there to me on the top of the mountain. No one shall come up with you and do not let anyone be seen throughout all the mountain and do not let flocks or herds graze in front of that mountain. So Moses cut two tablets of stone like the former ones and he rose early in the morning and went up on Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, and took in his hand the two tablets of stone. The Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there, and proclaimed the name, the Lord. The Lord passed before him and proclaimed, the Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for the thousandth generation, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, yet by no means clearing the guilty, but visiting the iniquity of the parents upon the children and the children's children to the third and fourth generation. And Moses quickly bowed his head towards the earth and worshipped. He said, If now I have found favour in your sight, O Lord, I pray, let the Lord go with us. Although this is a stiff-necked people, pardon our iniquity and our sin and take us for your inheritance. He said, I hereby make a covenant before all your people. I will perform marvels such as have not been performed in all the earth or in any nation. And all the people among whom you live shall see the work of the Lord. For it is an awesome thing that I give, that I will do with you. And to verse 27. The Lord said to Moses, write these words in accordance with these words. I have made a covenant with you and with Israel. He was there with the Lord for 40 days and 40 nights. He neither ate bread nor drank water. And he wrote on the tablets the words of the, of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. Moses came down from Mount Sinai. As he came down from the mountain with the two tablets of the covenant in his hand, 
Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone because he had been talking with God. When Aaron and all the Israelites saw Moses, the skin of his face was shining and they were afraid to come near him. But Moses called to them and Aaron and all the leaders of the congregation returned to him and Moses spake with them. Afterwards, all the Israelites came near and he gave them in commandment all that the Lord had spoken with him on Mount Sinai. When Moses had finished speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But whenever Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he would take the veil off until he came out. And when he came out and told the Israelites what had been commanded, the Israelites would see the face of Moses, that the skin of his face was shining. And Moses would put the veil on his face again until he went in to speak with him. Here ends the first lesson. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. I will sing to the Lord who has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider is thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. This is my God whom I will praise, the God of my forebears whom I will exalt. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. At the blast of your nostrils, the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. And by your invincible strength, you will guide them to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them, O Lord, in the sanctuary which your hands have established. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. And our second lesson is from Luke chapter 4, verses 1 to 13. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing at all during those days, and when they were over, he was famished. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become a loaf of bread. Jesus answered him, It is written, One does not live by bread alone. Then the devil led him up and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And the devil said to him, to you I will give their glory and all this authority, for it is being given over to me, and I give it to anyone I please. If you then will worship me, it will all be yours. Jesus answered, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil took him to Jerusalem and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, Throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to protect you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against the stone. Aunt Jesus answered him, It is said, Do not put the Lord your God to test. When the devil had finished every test, he departed from him until an opportune time. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who've fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. 
where, O death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O death, is your sting? The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He's raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. So, time for prayer. We pray for our world, a world full of sin and greed. We pray for those places where there are wars and conflicts. Praying particularly for the Yemen and for northern Syria. For the many people in refugee camps. For those seeking new homes in new countries. For those seeking to rebuild shattered lives. We pray for all affected by this COVID pandemic. Praying particularly for those who are ill. We give thanks for our doctors and nurses, for all our frontline staff. We pray for them and their families. We give thanks for their skill and expertise. We pray particularly for our scientists and doctors researching vaccines. We pray for our own diocese, the Bishop David, Bishop Mark, our suffragan bishop, for our area dean, and for this parish. We pray particularly for those on our hearts who need our prayers. We pray particularly for the sick that we hold before God in the silence of our hearts. Lord, surround and uplift all who suffer that they may know of your healing power. We pray for the faithful departed, for those known only to you. We pray, Lord, for those that we hold in our hearts at this time of year, whose anniversaries fall now. And we pray particularly for those we name now. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. In a moment of quiet, we bring before God things on our own hearts and minds. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin, 
that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Well, thank you for joining me for morning prayer. Stay safe. Have a good week. And I hope you'll join me again at this time next week.